Hey, this is Seth with In Demand Career. I show people how to get life-changing jobs in digital marketing with no previous experience or education. And this is my October 2022 digital marketing walkthrough video, where I'm going to walk you through just a handful of the over 175,000 open digital marketing jobs in the United States. Yes, digital marketing is still in demand, even though it's true, the economy is slowing down, the stock market is down, um, you know, things aren't as red hot as they were a year ago. But as I said in my video about what would happen during an economic slowdown or a recession, it's exactly what I said would happen. There are fewer jobs this month than last month, but there are still, it's still about uh, three times as many jobs as there ever were before. There's over 175,000 open digital marketing jobs. That is, means there's plenty of jobs for everybody watching this video. Uh, so let's get into it. And I just want to also give you a little bit of um, a little bit of context, you know, other other than the job postings here, I just want to show you within my um, within my private Facebook group for my course, you know, you can really get a pulse on the industry from there because there are students who are actually working in the industry. And I got this post from Joshua who got hired in April 2022 and his agency is looking for a junior SEO specialist. Uh, Jake, who got a job at an agency, his company is looking for a paid search analyst. These are entry level positions. Remember, you guys get the entry level position before you lever up, leverage up to higher paying positions. Um, and uh, even here, Carlos is basically too busy at his um, SEO job, but he's getting clients that are coming to him and he doesn't have time for those clients. So he's reaching out to the group to find people to help those clients. So they're, they're believe me, guys, there's still a lot of opportunities here. Uh, so let's get right into it. So this is uh, a job with work. Um, Work Reduce in Memphis, Tennessee, but it's remote lead paid search. It's been up for six days, only three applicants. So that's, again, you're gonna see me when I go through these videos, I'm gonna give you an entire overview strategy, way to think about these job postings. So anytime you see any job that only has three applicants, I say, why not apply? You know, the worst thing that can happen is that you don't hear back from them. Um, but again, if you've done everything in the course, you will have a really, really good chance of, of hearing back from these positions because you do have valuable skills. These skills are in demand and employers need them. So this one is uh, support social strategy development work. This, this is more about paid media. This is uh, paid social like Facebook ads, which I do teach in the course. Um, as you can see, they again, they, they have, they've only had three applicants. Um, and the people who have applied have only had experience in things like customer service, leadership, research, sales, Microsoft Office. I don't see anyone with uh, Facebook ad experience. So, you know, I encourage you guys, don't be shy if you're in the course to go after these positions. And why do I say that? Because this is a great example here. Malik just posted this just literally a few hours ago. He said he applied for a job and they actually said after an interview we think you can be a great addition to our team but this current role is a bit senior for your experience unfortunately we're not opening up any junior roles till after the new year we'll get back to you then and this may see you know technically this is a rejection but it's really actually a very positive communication and, and as he, he shared it you know he shared it with the group because it's actually a very cool thing to hear guys and this happened to me in my career i applied for a senior position one time and they said hey look Sorry, you don't have the experience for the senior position, but guess what? We got a junior position and they hired me. And that's why I really just kind of try to inspire you guys to just always apply. There's no harm in applying because you know, there's no police that's like, ah, you don't have the exact amount of years required. You're going to jail. That's not how it works. You never know who you're going to impress with the experience you've generated in the course. Um, you know, and that, oh yeah, I wanted to correlate it to this one because this one, they say it's a mid-senior level, but they're not specific about the number of years you need to have. You know, Google ads experts to help us make better business-based decision on our marketing data, working knowledge of Google ads. So that's kind of, that's not really a mid-senior position. That could be an entry-level thing. And it says manage all aspects of Google ads campaign, analyze and optimize pay-per-click, et cetera, et cetera. Looks like they've had a, you know, a few applicants. And as I point out to you a few times, sometimes when they have overseas applicants, you know, and nothing against anybody from overseas, but it is just from, to understand from the hiring perspective of a company, it is very complicated to hire somebody who is, not, who is a foreign national, which is why most companies say they wanna hire citizens of that country. And this is true, whether you're a British, you live in the UK or Germany or whatever country you live in. Um, but anyway, uh, and even if you do see that other people are applying who technically have the skill set, as I've said again and again, guys, you, you really have no idea how valuable the insights you're getting in my course are, even compared to people who have worked in the business. I've heard this again and again, even from students who are doing hiring now. So this is a good opportunity right here. I would definitely check that out. Let's see. 
Here is SEM specialist. This is a hybrid role. It's been up for a week with only nine applicants. Search engine marketing specialist, planning, implementing, managing overall strategy, essentially pay-per-click. It's gonna be Google Ads, implement paid and earn search strategy. Uh, and then again here, remember guys, whatever you see one year of experience, that is code for <laughs> really looking for anybody. One year of experience, it's very, very little. Remember I've had students get jobs that have said as much as four years experience required when they've only had three or six months they've experience they've generated in the course. And then even says experience with web analytics tools. Yeah, you will have that from the course. So I definitely uh, would apply to this one. Also, again, you know, if you have LinkedIn premium, sometimes it's helpful to look at your, your competition. In this case, this is Peapod Digital Labs in Quincy, Massachusetts. Guys, look. Um, maybe one applicant has some Google ads. Look at the other skill sets. Again, customer service, Microsoft Excel, leadership, marketing, public speaking. None of those are going to help somebody actually manage, um, <laughs> manage paid advertising, except if a person, you know, does have some Google ads experience. Um, but yeah, this is a great opportunity here. And again, it's been up for a week. They've only had nine applicants. So you'll definitely stand out in that one. Here is um united states search engine marketing specialist remote you know and then when i look at this one i see it's entry level they've had 96 applicants been up for two weeks which means obviously they still haven't found somebody that they like again one to three years experience that is code and remember guys whenever you see these big gaps you're going to see that in a bunch of these postings what you know if some if something is really a senior position it's going to say like must have four year five years experience but a lot of time the people posting these are just kind of throwing it out there because they just Really need anybody who can do the job. So when it says one to three years experience, that's a big, big gap there. So that means again, you could apply for this right out of the course. Execute, execute tests, identify trends, basically manage SEM. Um, and it says proven SEM experience and success. Again, this is doesn't mean you show up with like oh, I've managed two million dollars in ad spend. It just means really if you show up knowing what you're talking about because you studied everything in the course and you've run a few campaigns you would be a good uh, candidate for this job. And again, you look at the, the competition on this particular one. Um, digital marketing is very general. Analytics is good for them. But search engine optimization, that's not relevant. This is all paid search. And then things like social media, customer service, Microsoft Office, not really relevant to this position. It's out of 96 uh, applicants. Also, I mean, these companies, again, the, the people posting these jobs, it's, it's very strange. Often they're very good companies and they're good people. I don't know why. Sometimes they have a very hard time doing, um, I was going to say posting these the right way. Actually, I think I misspoke because I, maybe this is a software development company who needs digital marketing. I thought, I got confused for a second. Um, so maybe you're, you're going to be a marketer for a software development company. I thought they were indicating this was a software development position. Whatever it is, they still need people. I would apply. Paid search specialist, Apex, North Carolina, on site. Now, you're going to see, you know, positions now are all, you know, there's still a ton of remote positions, but there's also these on site positions. But again, when you see that uh, only eight people have applied for a position that's been up for two weeks and you don't live in North Carolina, I still would apply. I still would apply because. Again, you have leverage. You have leverage to get a remote position, or you could actually, you know, if you're if you're mobile and young and single, you could actually move to one of these places to get your entry level experience. But you also do have the right and the leverage to say, look, if they really need someone to manage their ads, they might have to open up to the possibility of remote, creating and managing Google Ads accounts, monitoring budgets, general Google Bing and Facebook ads account maintenance. Um, this all sounds like stuff. And then again, one plus year of experience working Google ads required certification and ads a plus, um, preferred, I mean, and remember, what do I tell you guys? Whenever it says it's preferred, that's, you know, any real, if it was a really intense requirement, it would say this is required because every person who's working professionally in this field has that certification. Um, I said it again and again, it's like it's like if you're hiring a truck driver, you don't say, hey, it would be really nice if you had a driver's license. It's it's required. Um, so all of this language just indicates that they're very open to people who are new. And then familiarity with Google Ads Ads Editor, which we do teach in the course. Make sure you watch that video by Nick. Um, and uh, yeah, and again, it even says familiarity. It doesn't say you have to have 10 years experience with that. Knowledge and utilization of PPC best practices. You guys have got that all from the course. And then just being a self-starter, organized and all that stuff. And then there's probably, you know, cultural fit. Now, in this case, it looks like they've had eight applicants and they do have some people that do have 
Relative skill sets. I can't believe somebody put critical thinking as a skill set. That is so ridiculous. You can't say you're a critical thinker. You demonstrate it by doing things that show you're a critical thinker. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, but yeah, you know, whatever the position, whatever the uh, whatever the situation, guys. I think this looks like a it's V E H L O Velo. I would definitely check that one out. Here is paid media, pay per click strategist. By the way, later the, a lot of these other positions are SEO. We're going to get to those. I just have the PPC in the beginning here. Um, paid media, pay per click strategist. Lead the client on what online marketing program will work best. Providing continual SEM guidance. Leader hungry. This is a this is an attitude and cultural fit thing. And this is a good indication, guys. When you see this in the job posting, this this also can really cue you on how to act in your cover letter and in your interview. You should be doing this anyway because in general you want to be hungry. <laughs> like there's no no company is going to be like we want somebody who really doesn't care about our job or our clients. But the fact that they say it here is means you really should feel permission to really share your passion. Um, now this one, oh yeah, I remember this one. This is really interesting. It says entry level. Then it says mentor, senior member of the team. You'll be coaching junior candidates, which is, you might be like kind of confused because it said it's entry level. And then it says two years of experience, which again is another indication guys of just how quickly people excel in this field. You know, two years of experience, suddenly you're senior. So I would apply to this posi a position like this because A, it indicates that they may have junior positions available as well. B, the people who've applied to this, as you can see, do not have clearly any of these Skill sets, uh, digital marketing analytics, you know, customer service, Photoshop, sales, Microsoft Office. So I would say even if you're just starting out, you know, this is an opportunity where if you have good communication skills, I think that would really bring home, uh, bring home the, you know, the interview on this one. Also, I just noticed that it does say implement quality link strategies for optimal organic visibility. That means they do want you to have some SEO knowledge. So you could, I would even ask them. I'd say, look. This says paid media pay per click strategies, but then you also said you want link strategies. That's totally separate. Do you want somebody who will do both? And that would be a very good talking point to demonstrate your, your overall knowledge of digital marketing. Uh, so yeah, this looks like a good one. And again, obviously it's been up for a week. They haven't found anybody. I would go for it. Here is digital marketing specialist, 100% remote. It says staffing. Uh, so Spectraforce, this is probably through a temp agency or an employment agency, analyze digital data, SEO, SEM, uh, bachelor's. <laughs> Remember guys, when you see bachelor's degree, if you have one, fantastic, as you've seen again and again. And if you're wondering about this, guys, watch my videos about what you learned in a marketing degree. You'll see it has nothing to do with any modern marketing at all. Um, so even if you don't have a bachelor's degree, uh, I would apply anyway. Two years of experience in digital marketing. Okay, now when you see knowledge of video and picture editing software, so software such as Adobe, uh, that is a little bit of a red flag to me because it's saying, you know, they might want you to be doing like graphic design stuff. And you, you ask them in the interview, guys, you ask them how much of the job is this? If they want you to just kind of like mess with pictures every once in a while, that's fine. But it should not be a big part of the job. Um, and, you know, content marketing, copywriting, design, search engine optimization. This is... This is one of those things where you have to determine for yourself. Like I said, experience setting up and optimizing Google AdWords campaigns. See, because of the way that this job is posted, this is why it's also, it is a good opportunity to get that entry level experience. They're paying 45 to 50K, which is a great starting salary. They're not gonna get people who have a ton of experience applying for this position. And they've got people see social media marketing, um, search engine optimization, but no Google ads, leadership, customer service, Microsoft Excel, and and yeah, so it's because this is one of those kind of all over the place type thing. They didn't say specifically, we want you to just do PPC and here's all the PPC specific skills. They didn't say, we just want you to do SEO. They want you to do kind of a little bit of SEO, but then they mentioned things like content marketing and copywriting and design. And that's where I normally tell people to stay away from those, but it looks like this could, this could be a good mixture of everything. So you just have to apply and see what's, you know, what they're all about what this thing is all about. But I also, I, you know, I included this job because I, I want you guys to really understand that you are in control when you do this, when you're on the job hunt. I know it sounds crazy, right? Because everybody in the job hunt is like, I need a job, please hire me, I'm open to work. No, everything in the course is about training you to understand that you have leverage, you have skills that people need. So you, and, and people respect somebody who's confident enough to ask questions about the job and don't just show up and shake their head and go, yes, I can do everything. You could really ask them like, what is the real, 
what what is the goal for your company and what is the real position here? Because I'm seeing six different skill sets. I mean, do you want people who do TikTok ads? Do you want people to do SEO? Do you want someone to do uh, PPC? Do you want someone to do graphic design? You know, be like, listen, you can hire a graphic designer on Fiverr. I know PPC and SEO. Whatever you say, guys, when you have that type of confidence, that communicates really well. And I just, I like to, you know, encourage you guys to get the experience of just feeling more in control and more confident when you're in the job search. I hope that's helpful. You can tell me in the comments if you think this type of commentary is helpful. This one is a very, <laughs> it is just posted. It's in Oklahoma City on site. So that's like obviously right out of the, again, if you're willing to go to some of these smaller cities or places, or if you say to them, hey, you know, if it, you know, like I said, um, I have a uh, Kyan lives in South Dakota in the middle of not much. And he got a job working for a company in um, Pennsylvania. And there's other companies where they're ba if you're based in a place like Oklahoma City, you may be, they may be forced to hire remote. But um, two years experience in a paid search role, this is a very, very general job posting. I would still go for it because also it looks like Addison Group, I think, is a staffing company. So again, whenever you apply to a staff, anything that says staffing and recruiting, a staffing agency they're like an agent. Their, their goal is to get their clients hire them, companies hire them to find people to fill positions. And then these guys, Addison Group, get paid a commission. What does that mean? It means if you show up and you're like, hey, I have all this experience and knowledge, and even if you don't fit for this job, they want to get you hired because why? Because then they get paid. If someone has a profit motive to help you, then you want to be friends with them and work with them. And that's why I always recommend recruiters and employment agencies. Here is an advertising specialist in Denver. Um, build modern optimized campaign, uh, strategize paid media campaign optimizations, Google ads and Facebook ads. So it's Google ads, Facebook ads, work with SEO and content and creative. Now this is a much more, we said this is a better opt than the one I just showed you. But again, the, the one I just showed you might, there might be a lower barrier for entry because they are asking for the design stuff. But this is the type of one that I really do focus on. Um, one to two years working with SEM and social media platforms. Again, that is great. And then it says knowledge of pay-per-click platforms. So it's like really interesting, again, when you see this language. Experience, one to two years working with SEM, and then it says knowledge of these platforms, indicating likely they're getting a lot of people who don't even have knowledge. You have the knowledge from the course, Facebook ads, Google ads, um, pivot tables, a plus. Pivot tables, what do you guys, what you guys learned in the course? Pivot tables, so I put it in there, and then it says must be good with numbers. And a lot of people also ask me like, do I need to be good with math? And I wanna answer that question here in case you're wondering that. You do, but only practical math, guys. Like, so I took pre-calc back in high school. I remember my brain was just like scrambled from that. Pre-calculus, calculus, algebra, trigonometry. Those are, those topics have nothing to do with business. Okay, when it says must be good with numbers or good with math, if you, we're talking about money, right? We're talking about percentages. So yeah, if you can deal with like profit and loss and ad spend and percentages and profitability, that's what you need. You don't need to know how to graph a function, okay? <laughs> so if you weren't good at math in high school, that's fine. You might even be good at business math. Uh, the, the math they teach in high school is, is very esoteric unless you're going to work in like engineering or some related field. Uh, remote working flexibility, that's awesome. And again, guys, look at this. Again, it's not always the case. Sometimes you will have some competition, but in this case, um, you've got people with, I don't see any Google ads here, social media marketing. That Again, that doesn't mean paid Facebook ads. Communication, customer service, leadership, teamwork. Again, these are the, <laughs> this is low-hanging fruit. There, that means they got 82 people that do not have the skills that they need. So I would definitely apply to the, this at LSM in Denver. Here is a paid search specialist in... Uh, Greater Cleveland, it's hybrid, nine applicants in five days, and it just says hybrid, I guess you'd have to be in Cleveland, but with only nine applicants in five days, they might have to go completely remote. Now, it says here, oversee development of paid search program and, and analysis, two to five years of experience, um, experience with advanced PPC knowledge, uh, product listing ads. Now, again, look at the look at the competition, Google ads a little bit, but customer service, leadership, time management, communication. What, and because they, it's because they put two to five years. You know, if they just put like zero to two years, they'd probably get more applicants. But this is clearly an entry level position. I don't know why people would throw out two to five years of experience. That's like, again, five years of experience, you're probably not even on LinkedIn, you're just working with recruiters. Um, so I, this is definitely an entry level position and I think they would be interested in talking to you, especially since again, most of the competition doesn't have these skill sets. 
Here is, oh, this is, this is kind of, this is kind of random, but I wanted to throw it in there. This is Amazon PPC. Now I don't teach Amazon PPC. Remember guys, there's already over 40 hours of video in the course and it's everything you need to get a job. You see people getting job all the time, jobs all the time. But a lot of people take their base knowledge of Google and actually will be able, be able to learn or some people have been trained in Amazon PPC. Um, now you could even, I would even apply to this job with your Google ads experience and say, listen, I understand how Google ads works. I can totally, you know, with just a little bit of training, I can get into Amazon ads. But this is what I thought was interesting is that again, digital marketing, very vague, and then search engine optimization. There isn't ad, nothing with Amazon ads, not even PPC, pay-per-click advertising or paid advertising, Microsoft Excel, leadership, communication, customer service. Again, that means, and then a lot of overseas applicants. So this is, you know, it's been up for a week. It's up, they've, they're drowning in these applications that aren't relevant. I would, I would reach out to them. And you can even say right off the bat, look, I don't have Amazon PPC experience, but I have Google Ads PPC experience. You may be uh, a breath of fresh air to them. And you can learn, you know, again, Amazon PPC is something you can, you can um, learn about yourself that's much easier to understand once you have the basic Google Ads uh, knowledge. Here is Digital ad uh, Advertising Specialist at Dealer Inspire. Guys, this company has been in like so many of my walkthrough videos. Um, they hired, uh, they've hired a lot of my students over the years, United States, a remote, uh, remote position doing, uh, and it says senior digital uh, advertising specialist, but it says entry level. And when, whenever this happens, guys, remember, don't, don't get upset by it. I always just say, look, you put it under entry level. I'm going to apply. I'm going to apply. And maybe you'll get an email like Malik did that says, hey, you don't have the experience for this, but we liked what you, you know, we want to hire you for your junior position. But basically, um, it says manage digital advertising, you, YouTube, Google ads, um, ROI, ad copy, landing pages, blah, blah, blah. And then it says, I have a strong knowledge of digital marketing. Well, yeah, if you have three years of experience and you're going to be a senior manager, of course, you should have a knowledge of these things. Um, I also, again, look down here, maybe somebody has Google ads, but you have all these unrelated skill sets, customer service, leadership, social media, marketing, Microsoft office. Uh, I definitely, definitely would give this place a, uh, a try because as I said, they have hired my students before. Here is a paid media associate, uh, search laboratory in Austin, Texas. This is a, this is definitely entry level. If it's 35,000 a year, that's very, very low these days. But again, as I've, I've said to you guys again and again, uh, it's okay to take a lower salary right in the beginning because within six months you can leverage up to that 60K. Um, degree level education, absolutely not important. Experience managing PPC campaigns. There you go. Um, at this, pre at this uh, level, definitely entry level. Definitely entry level. And look, as you can see, not a single person has digital marketing skills. You got Microsoft Excel, customer service, PowerPoint, leadership, communication. So uh, if you're in the course, guys, try these guys. Search Laboratory Austin, Texas. I think that's a good opportunity. Here is, I had some more. Yeah, all the SEO stuff is back here. Okay, uh, Tractor Beam, Dallas. is currently accepting resumes for paid search specialist. Optimize and report on Google Ads, Bing Ads, Facebook Ads, TikTok Ads. Develop, execute, and optimize paid search campaigns. Uh, it says experience working in agency environment. I wouldn't worry about that. You know, so many of my students get hired into agencies with no previous agency experience. Kaboom. Uh, and once again, maybe somebody has Google ads, but customer service, marketing, communication, PowerPoint. Um, yeah, understanding of paid marketing channels. I like how at the end it says understanding of paid marketing channels. Well, if you have experience working in agencies, shouldn't you understand paid marketing? Um, yeah, I think... Uh, I think this this looks like a good opportunity. Again, two weeks, forty applicants, not too many, you know, not with too many relevant skills. Very good opportunity. SEM specialist. Oh, did I already do this one? I think I already did this one. It's the Peapod. So, again, a week ago, five applicants. It's still a good opportunity, as good an opportunity as it was earlier in the video. Here is Aetna Interactive, United States Remote. One week ago, fifty-seven applicants. I love, and I love how they lead with this. That's probably why they have 57 applicants because they led with all their culture stuff. Flexible remote work culture, paid time off, uh, problem solvers. This is good. This is talking about cultural stuff. Now it does, uh, but it does say you need to be located in these states. That's probably for payroll reasons. 
uh, acronyms like CTR, CP, uh, CPL, CPC, Sierra, part of your native language. Native language, you understand? What I talk, teach you in the course, guys, what do I tell you to do? Speak the language, speak the language. You thrive on testing, optimizing, and collaborating. Your team is here to support you. This sounds like a great team environment, guys. And I think this, I, I swear this, this company has been up here before. Um, anyway, you will learn, <laughs> this is cute, how to use a good pun, collaboration, more information ever imagined about plastic surgery. Okay, so they work on plastic surgery clients. But when it says here, what does it say here, guys? What does it say? Fit our culture. Communicate. Communication. This means they want someone with a positive attitude, somebody who's a self-starter, all that good stuff. Be skilled in the basics and have knowledge or experience in Google Ads. Guys, this is a great opportunity. Um, looks like some of the people who apply do have experience. All good. I would still bookmark this company. In fact, this is your reward for having stuck with this video. I don't know how long I've been talking, but it's been a while. I am going to probably share this with my students. This looks like a really great opportunity. I'm going to keep that window open. Um, Entry Level Marketing, Reno, OCG Creative, Reno. This is a, this is a basic SEO type position. And again, they say photo and image editing. I think I've seen these guys advertise before. They've only had 11 applicants in two weeks and it's in Reno on site and it's paying nothing. <laughs> so with a guy, actually with a, uh, with a, with a offer like this, this, and again, sometimes there's cautionary tales, guys. This is very, very low. I don't like this. Um, so basically what I would say to this, these guys, and it's okay to apply. And again, it's good to have practice. Again, commanding what you want out of a job instead of just taking whatever you can get. If they're, if you're going to have opportunity to do real SEO work on real clients, then this could be a worthwhile, you know, very short-term, low-paying entry-level position that you would leverage into your uh, next position. However, if they're going to have you doing social media marketing, posting on Facebook, editing images for $14 or $18 an hour, that is not, this is not a good opportunity. This is like, this is what college graduates are running to do. And that's, again, they don't have any, anybody with really relevant experience applying because people can look at this and see, you know, this is, you know, this is for recent college grads who have no skill sets. Um, so again, it, but if there is a chance to work on SEO, put that on your resume so that you can leave this job as soon as possible. That would be what you would use a job like this for. This one, uh, this is WebFX, who I mentioned in the course. So these guys are a huge agency. In fact, I think they even have offices internationally. Um, analytics track. So what they want is, you know, they're talking about how great it is. They've got offices in Cape Town, South Africa. I had a South African student talking about that. They've got yoga sessions, fitness centers. They're in Pennsylvania. It looks like you'd have to move to Pennsylvania. But here's what's interesting. This is a great agency. It's very successful. Um, and, you know, I think you could get in here with your solid understanding of the internet basic copywriting, right? But here's the thing these guys have that really annoys me. They do have this thing where they want you to have a bachelor's degree in these topics with a certain GPA. Now, I got to tell you guys, six years of doing this, I have never, this is the only agency I've ever seen that has said this, or really, I don't know if they even enforce this, but it's ridiculous. Um, so, but they're, they're, that means what they're doing is they're taking like smartish type, book smart students who may have a degree, who know absolutely nothing, and training them. So I would push you to challenge, like if you have, if you actually have a degree in one of these topics, then great, apply, you know? Um, but I would go up to them with your experience when it says any digital marketing experience, a plus, which you're going to have more digital marketing experience than any college student with what you've done in the course. Um, any uh, analytics experience, you're going to have that more of that experience, you know, and you've probably already done on page SEO, SEO content strategy, whereas, you know, manage SEO and PPC campaigns, you've done this, whereas the average college student doesn't even know what SEO or PPC is. I would apply and challenge them, challenge them. Don't be intimidated because they say you need a degree because they, they're, I mean, I like this agency, but I think their thinking is very strange. And, you know, they could be doing this because they are, this could be a reflection of the fact that there is still such a lack of skilled workers. And their thinking is like, okay, look, we know we're not going to get entry level people that have experience. So we're just going to, you know, we're just going to look for some kind of smart people with decent GPAs and we're going to train them. Um, so show up and say, hey, man, listen, I'm sorry, I don't have the degree. Um, I decided I'd rather get relevant skills and get trained by professionals, here's a bunch of my projects and my knowledge and see if they hire you. And I think they will. Um, and again, if you have the degree, that's good too. Here is, I'm going to jump over because I, I think I started out with a ton of SEO and then I put them at the back here. So if, you, if you're looking for SEO, there it is coming. SEO specialist, Micro Center, Hillard, uh, Ohio. 
Okay, so this is a nation's leading computer and electronic device big box realtor, real retailer, really. Uh, basically, implement effective SEO strategies, monitor SEO uh, performance, and it says two to three years of e-commerce SEO experience. Um, what you call it? This is one of those ones where also again a lot of these applicants are coming from overseas, so people are do have these experience, but they're if they're overseas, they definitely cannot work on site. Um, and again, there are various legal and, you know, hire, there's a lot of paperwork and a lot of complications in hiring people who are not citizens of a country. This is true, not just in the U.S., but in Canada, in the U.K., in any, almost every country. So if you show up and you have, and I, think, I don't think you really need to have the two or three years of e-commerce SEO experience. I think your audit would be enough to show these guys that you know what is going on. Here is digital media specialist paid search. Largest home builder in America? I didn't know that. You love dig digital marketing for the wealth of insights it provides at your fingertips. Um, operational strategy that supports growth of customer acquisition. This is kind of funky language. So I'm like, are they asking you to do Google ads? Um, I think they are asking you to Google or Facebook ads. But it says one year hands-on experience in digital marketing and that is like basically showing that they need somebody who, you know, is, just has the basic knowledge and again look at your only three applicants and you got english photoshop research strategic planning social media communication so you have no real competition here i would check this one out too this is digital advertising experts so this is kind of an interesting one because they actually include their skills assessment assessment so you have to fill out a form and a resume and a skills assessment which in this case has to do with setting up a facebook business manager and ad manager account which I think is pretty cool because all they really want you to do, guys, this is a really good example of the kind of skill assessments you might have. They really are, <laughs> they don't even want you to you know, make it live. They just want to show you that you're familiar with Facebook ads. And this is so awesome to see this in a job posting because this is, again, this is what you're going to find in all of these job interviews. Once you get past the, once you start submitting those resumes, this is all they want is that familiarity with Facebook ads or with Google ads or with SEO. And this appears to be extremely fluent in English. That's interesting. Confident in speaking in front of groups and leading meetings. That's interesting. Um, yeah, some of these jobs, you know, you're just sitting in front of the computer. You're you're totally not, you know, you're mostly in a very, you know, data facing position. Other in other uh, positions, you do need to have some communication skills. So this is definitely Facebook is a must and Google Ads desired. So in this case, guys, anybody in my course could definitely stand out from the other 140 applicants who, again, 140 applicants, guys, who do not ha have the relevant skills. I want you to just like let that sink in. Imagine you have 140 resumes in front of you and like nobody has the things that you want. I mean, they probably didn't, a lot of people, I bet you they didn't even follow these instructions. If you just follow instructions and pay attention to the details, guys, you already had a 90% of the people. I bet you there's so many people, I bet you a bunch of those people did not fill out these forms. They just clicked easy apply and they're not gonna be considered. So I would I would check this out. Brain Lab Media Colorado. Here is search engine optimization specialist, ICG, Boca Raton hybrid, uh, SEO specialist who manages the SEO focused content creation process, collaborating with web development team to ensure SEO best practices, keep up to date with SEO, two years of experience, bachelor's degree preferred, not really, they don't really care, knowledge of standard and current SEO practices, again, everything you get from the course, and once again, guys, a lot of the applicants are coming from overseas. So even though there have been 47 applicants in two days, you don't know exactly how many of those are really competitive to you. Remember it says, why do I teach you guys Ahrefs and SEMrush? Look, right there, top three, right there. Ahrefs, SEMrush, Screaming Frog. Boom, 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 boom. That's why you learn all that stuff in the course. I think you can show up and impress these guys. Here is, this is an interesting one as we wrap up. <laughs> Uh, the Home Depot, it says senior analyst, but they put it under entry level. So this is, again, guys, it's like the Home Depot. So that's like a huge billion-dollar company, and they couldn't put a senior position under senior. They put it under entry level. I would say, hey, I'm applying. I don't care. You said it was entry level. I'm going to take your word that it's entry level. Uh, campaign planning, vendor management, keyword research. and But then it says position reports to paid media, media senior manager. So what is it? Is it, I guess you're a senior analyst, but you're not a manager. I would still apply up for this. Knowledge, skills, and ability. Oh, <laughs> this. The, the person who posted this really didn't know what they were talking about. Now, the reason I 
posted this is because I do have a few students working at the for the Home Depot. Um, Javier. Now, okay, there's people. These are people who are like I think like retail workers. But Javier is one of the high ups who took my course years ago. He's a grad student, got it at forty thousand dollar a year job. Now he makes six figures working for Home Depot. So they've hired my students before. Um, they, maybe it's because they have a corporate recruiter. But basically, when they say the knowledge, skills, and abilities typically acquired through the completion of a bachelor's degree program, that means they don't even know what they're talking about. And they don't even really put anything that would be relevant to an SEO or SEM job. This is where you have the opportunity. I would, I would in, encourage you guys as an act of practice and growth and development, show, apply to the Home Depot uh, senior, this position, with your knowledge of SEO and SEM. And be prepared to teach or lead the conversation with this recruiter because the recruiter say, listen, I'm really interested in this position because I, obviously I, I mean, you'd say I'm a big fan of Home Depot, whatever you want to say. Obviously, everybody knows the brand. But when you say campaign planning, are you talking about PPC, Google PPC? Are you talking about Facebook ads? And what specifically do you want me to be doing? So they do mention campaign planning and keyword research. But by asking questions about the specifics of the job, you demonstrate your knowledge. Because, again, when it says... Legal, it says legally permitted to work in the U.S., which is usually what most employers say. When it says the knowledge, skills, and abilities acquired through completing the bachelor's degree program, that's ridiculous because we've seen um, the bachelor's degree programs don't even talk about digital marketing. Uh, you could even mention that. You could say I've actually, I'm actually familiar with the bachelor's degree program, and I don't. There's they actually don't teach digital marketing, so I've learned everything. You could even say that. You could say if you don't have a degree, listen. I'm sorry, I don't have a marketing degree, but I can tell you in detail what a typical bachelor's degree teaches and it doesn't actually teach digital it teaches you know macroeconomics and very things that have nothing to do with your advertising dollars um so anyway guys i yeah i hope that inspires you because i you know i've had students get jobs like this just because they had the, the the passion and the knowledge and they impressed somebody even though they technically didn't think they were hired uh qualified for the position let's see here Search engine optimization specialist. We're almost done. Digital image full service advertising agency. Implement digital marketing campaigns. Create and implement SEO strategies. And it is college degree preferred eh, with one to three years of previous experience in SEO. And then one to three years. When you see one to three years plus knowledge of Google Analytics, as SEMrush, SEO tools, uh, Screaming Frog, that is your indication that this is a good, uh, good opportunity. Um, it's been up for a week. They're still looking for somebody. And again, when they, it says understanding of all search engines functions as well as marketing. Again, when it says one to three years, guys, this is a clear, this is a clear uh, opportunity. Now, it says it's in Michigan. It says it's hybrid. But again, as I said again and again, guys, you don't, you, you could have the leverage to make this fully remote or as I say, you know, you move to a place for six months, get your experience, then move on. Anyway, guys, I just looked and realized I've been talking for almost 40 minutes without taking a break, which I didn't realize. But I, need, I think you get the idea. There's still a ton of positions, a ton of opportunities. People are getting hired. Um, and yeah, this again, even if the economy is slowing down, this is one of the best skill sets to have in that situation. And remember, I didn't even talk. About, these are all just what's on LinkedIn. There's still indeed, there's other job posting sites. And then there are 5,000 digital marketing agencies in the U.S. alone that often do their own hiring directly through their own websites and their own networks, plus all the recruiters out there. So there's just just a ton of opportunity. Um, you know, if you're in the course, I hope this inspires you. And again, guys, you know, there's always a lot of support in the Facebook group. If you haven't taken the course yet, please check out my free webinar by going to digitalcareerblueprint.com. Uh, you can understand, you know, learn how I help people get entry level jobs in digital marketing with no previous experience or education and leverage up to about 60 K within a year. That is provable. It's happened again and again. That is the typical path for people once they've got that entry level experience. And I've had people from all different backgrounds. I've had stay at home moms. I've had people who worked in factories or retail. I've had engineers. I've had people who are 18 years old, even someone who was 16. And I just recently interviewed someone who's 59 years old. So there's not an age thing. It's all about your passion, your attitude, and your ability to provide a skill set that is desperately needed by companies, but is not taught in college. And for that, we like to thank the educational system for its incredible ineptitude. And I like to put a positive spin on it because it means there's more opportunity for you. And I'm a big believer in alternative education. And I hope that you have found this video uh, entertaining and educational. And if, always, if you have comments or questions, please leave them below. And I will see you guys in the next video.